Good morning. It is 5.30 a.m. We are on our home turf of Santa Monica Beach. Maybe you can see the pier there behind us. And we've got something a little bit different for you guys today. Yeah, so we've actually gotten a fair amount of questions about how exactly we train for these really hard hiking suffer fests. And rather than just typing it out individually to each of you, we thought it would be easier and more fun just to take you along on one of our weekly training workouts. So obviously the best way to train for hiking is hiking itself. But if you work full-time jobs like us, maybe you're busy during the week, you often just don't have time to get out onto the trail every single day. So our absolute favorite exercise to train for hiking during the week is step ups. Simple, straightforward, gets the job done. I will usually do three sets of 100 step ups. So I basically just find a bench or a wall like this and just alternate your legs, step up, slow, controlled. If I'm feeling particularly strong or if I'm looking for a really hard challenge one day, I might add weights to this, but even just doing them without weights is great too. I like to do a lot of different variations of step ups at different heights, sometimes even with different angles. I'm sure you guys have noticed in our videos that we like to do a lot of bouldering, scrambling, class three type stuff. Sometimes you really have to use leg power to get yourself up and over a rock. This is the perfect way to train for that. So on days when I really want just pure cardio and leg strength challenge, I will do 600 step ups, but I'll add a hop and that'll be pretty much my whole workout. So I just basically do this. I go five at a time on each leg, pop up. If you're really intense, you can even add weight on either side. It gets you good. <laughs> so I also like to do a version of the hop, which really helps with my jumping when I have to leap over a chasm or something. Um, I like to do a particularly high step up, because sometimes there are times when you really have to step up something high and then push off pretty hard. And then I switch legs every time. So the second thing that's really important for us in our training is focusing on upper body strength. And this isn't just any upper body strength. What we're focused on lately because we're doing so many hikes with various forms of scrambling is specifically our lat strength and our grip strength. So if you think about it, when you're scrambling and you're climbing up and you're holding onto a rock, you need to be able to grip that rock really strong and pull yourself up. So one thing we really focus on is our pull-ups. Now this is really hard, especially for women. I've been working on my pull-ups for the past year. A year ago, I couldn't do any. So let's see how many I can get this morning. Go Elise! <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh, look at how she's going slow too. That's so good. Oh, that's great. So instead of just cranking out rep after rep, notice that I'm going slow. The reason for that is because when you're climbing, everything's in rhythm and you're moving slowly. Often you're lowering yourself slowly when you're down climbing. So it's not about banging out endless reps. It's about controlled, powerful movement. So I recommend for guys, even if you're strong on pull-ups, instead of a set of 30 or something, a set of 10 slow ones like that is perfect. So probably the most important upper body exercise that we do for hiking is dips. And that's because we use poles. And if your triceps are strong, it really helps you propel your body upwards using those poles and takes pressure off your legs, which if you're doing 20 miles and 8,000 feet of climbing, you want to take pressure off those legs. So core is obviously super important for hikers, backpackers, climbers. Anytime you have something on your back and you're doing dynamic movements, you really want injury prevention. So it's essential to have that kind of strength. But for me, 
my favorite exercise also allows me to do spans um, because there's a lot of times when we're climbing when I need to span a gap with my arms out like this. So this particular kind of plank, much harder than regular plank, but very, very cool and really, really helpful for the stuff that we do. Put your arms all the way out and hold the plank this way. Nice hold. Good job, Elise. <laughs> All right, well, in order to keep things interesting, at some point in every workout, we like to issue each other a surprise challenge. And my challenge for Adam today is to climb to the top of this crazy high rope. But because he's such a good climber, the challenge is actually that he has to climb to the top without using his feet. He only can use his arms. So. I've never actually tried climbing with just my arms before. I don't even know if it's gonna be possible, but it is a good surprise challenge. <laughs> and just to say, for those of you who are really interested in some hard class three, class four scrambling, or even rock climbing, climbing ropes is excellent for grip strength, as well, of course, as your, your lats and your arms and everything. But it really makes you hold on, especially if you can't use your feet. Let's see what you got. All right, are we doing this? Yeah. Pray for me, you guys. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yes, yes. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of, I think I kind of touched it with my feet at the end. It was close enough. Oh. All right, so for Elise, we are at the pull-up bars. Elise has never, ever, ever done four pull-ups. I really don't know if this is possible, but it's the challenge. You gotta try. You gotta try your best. All right, so here comes Elise's surprise challenge. She has to try to do four pull-ups. She's never done it. I do not know if this is gonna happen. You can absolutely do it. Just jump and start pulling and just go hard. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, come on, Elise. Three, come on. Go, go, all the way up, all the way up. Oh my God. Yes. That was really good. They weren't perfect pull ups, but. Whatever, it was probably more perfect than my lame rope climb, but. My best. <laughs> really good. Good job, Elise. All right, so that was our quick little hiking specific 45 minute training session. Obviously. The kind of training that we do is gonna differ depending on what we're training for. As you saw today, we've been doing a lot of class three scrambling lately, so we did a little bit more upper body. We've been training that a little bit harder. Yeah, and we know this was a really different video for us today, so we're actually just really curious to know what you guys thought of it. If you liked it, we're happy to do more of these videos and show you guys what we do when we're not on the trails. This one came specifically from your guys' questions, so please, if there's other things that you'd like to see, um, about how we train, how we train for altitude, whatever it might be, just let us know. And we will see you guys next time out on the trails.